all boys and girls, men's and meme sabs and mighty moosels. This is uh, a mail call. Yay! Yeah, buddy. I should give you a clue. Mr. Gary Jean sent me a stick out. La, 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 la. Ain't that lovely? Don't that nice? That's gorgeous. And this reminds me of, he'll be happy to see. I don't know if you can see that bad boy or not. Ain't that lovely? That's in my yard. Guess what? Ain't that pretty? Just about the same thing yours was. And here's the back end of my little rig. Man, by the time I, you get through building these things, you don't have enough money, or I didn't, to keep it very long. So, you end up having to sell it and pay all the bills that you borrowed to build it. Very beautiful car. Oh, you're building a Fairmont. And I was visiting a salvage yard 25, 30 years ago. And now come upon this Fairmont. I think it's about a 78. Can you see that? It is perfectly squunched in the middle. Of course, I, nobody got hurt in it. But it got hit T-boned on both sides at once. And it made it into a little sharp little teepee. So, that's the, uh, that's the mail call. Thank you, Mr. Gary Jean. Uh, if you don't know him, you better check him out. He's a very fine fella. And I believe everybody loves him. They need to. Oh, he's got that beautiful Mach 1. He's building a Fairmont. Thank you. God bless you. He's building a Fairmont. And he's uh, building a go-kart and all sorts of good stuff. Making a salvage yard, which... I always wanted to be rich enough to either own a salvage yard or to have a drive-in, an outside drive-in movie where you'd park these old cars, the vintage old cars, and you'd walk in and you'd pick the car you wanted to sit in while you watched the movie. Ah, that was just me. I also wanted to be an architect where I could design houses that look like cars. But that's just a, a kid thing. Okay. Here's the thing. Y'all already knew what it was. Before, way before me. I was visiting a couple years ago. Visiting an old railroad guy. Which they're all old now. Because the railroad hasn't run through here. Well, the railroad this came from. In 80 years, maybe. Since after World War II. However long that is. Y'all figure it out. And uh, this is a clinker out of a uh, steam locomotive. The Missouri, North Arkansas, that used to run through here. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, this is one of the very largest clinkers that you'll find. And what they were doing is when they were cleaning out the fireboxes in these old, this is coal, was coal. It's what didn't burn from coal. And uh, I wonder if it's magnetic negative. Nope, magnetic echo don't work. So it's not mag even got enough metal in to be magnetic echo. Anyway, they they clean the firebox out and put fresh coal in when they was going through these mountains. And uh, the smart bunch of them would wait till they went over over water, which is on the trestles and stuff, and they'd shovel it over the side where it would land in the water, wouldn't catch the world on fire, I guess. But what they found out on their return trip from wherever they were going was that all the trusses were burned up, caught fire, and burned up from the, the hot uh, coal residue that was shoveled out while they was passing the water. It didn't make it to the water, some of it didn't, and burnt the trestle up. So, that, so then the train went down and visited the water. There's lots of books on the Missouri North Arkansas Railroad, especially ones that go through Searcy County. 
and uh, you get to see lots of train wrecks. It makes you wonder if they ever got a train all the way to Little Rock or Louisiana, wherever they was going from. And uh, they had lines that they could borrow and use all the way up to uh, Chicago. Chicago. So, uh, it was quite a big deal there for a while in the 30s and 40s and in the teens, I guess, when it started. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know what they did after they burned all the trestles up, where they put their clinkers and ash and stuff. But somebody will know. So, uh, that's the mail call. Check out Mr. Gary, Mr. Mach 1. I guess he's over there. Mr. Mach 1, he's a very neat guy. And uh, there's just no telling what he'll be doing at one minute to the next. So, I want to say sorry not to tell y'all. I love you. And y'all be careful. Bye bye. The button.